And I think that I think he's one of the one of the MCs that can have a balance. You know, certain MCs you only have a lane, and you can hear a beat and be like, "Oh, that's a so and so beat," mm -hmm. or you know, they you don't expect them to have certain records out. You don't expect them to do certain records, and if they do it, you feel shocked or you feel like, "How is he doing that?" Like right now, somebody like a J Electronica, if he came out with some some record like y'all working on right now, cats would be bugging like, "What the fuck is he yeah. doing?" I think Chris got that ability to be accepted on all of those levels. I think he can spit on a hard record with Beans and Freeway. And then he can turn around and get on a record with Wiz Khalifa. Or do a remix to a Justin Bieber record. Or be on a Chris Brown remix. You know, he could have easily been on that Deuces remix and had the ladies. Because of his personality, he gets along with, you know, the janitor and the CEO. You know, he could walk in the room and not offend anybody. But because he's humble, his personality won't overtake the next person, but you best believe in the back of their mind, they know their bars still gotta be up to par. Because even though he ain't necessarily aggressively going at them, they know in his mind he's trying to eat them alive. Because his swag is so ill on records. It's like certain MCs come out, and if they record ain't hot, they over. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Whereas I think because he's such a fan friendly person and, a, and an artist friendly person, and producer friendly, because every producer I know won't fuck with him, including myself, because they feel like, okay, we're going to get a hot record, and he's going to show us love down the line. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I think he got that ability to, to be around, and it's not just a one album thing. You know, I think the dude is special. You know what I mean? I think he got it. And you know me, I fuck with the best of them, so yeah. not necessarily comparing them to the best of them, but swag-wise, longevity-wise, I think he got a chance to compete with them, you know, mm -hmm. in that sense where, you know, Fans stay loyal when they feel like you're giving them what they want. You know what I mean, and that's that's the beauty of being an artist and the beauty of being a a, 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 a good artist. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, it's expanding your brand past just your fans, but always making sure that they happy and, and then giving other people what they need. If they like it, they like it. They don't, they don't. As long as your fans is happy, he'll, he'll be alright.